Hey guys, your boy B Minus, and I am here with another FIFA 15 career mode update update for March 20th, 2015. And guys, we're just gonna get right into it with the buff section this week. The big name that is getting buffed is the man, the myth, the curly haired legend, David Luiz from Paris Saint-Germain and what a game up against Chelsea in the Champions League this past weekend well deserved he's getting a plus one plus one to his overall and we're gonna go ahead and look down at his stats that are getting buffed nothing all too incredible right here as you can see plus 30 reactions plus two to marking three interceptions positioning all that good stuff and he is just getting a nice little upgrade for a all-time classic in the Champions League. The next one on the buff list is a little peculiar. It's a name that you already know. Raheem Sterling, the Jamaican England international. And now, as you can see, he, uh, why did I put a guy who's getting a negative one, negative one in the buff section? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the stats, guys. And as you can see right here, uh, he's getting a negative one, negative one, and he's getting a plus two to agility, plus one reactions, a whole bunch of plus ones, plus five to vision, plus 12 to jumping, and plus two to strength. And you're asking, how did he get a negative one, negative one? Technically, he's getting an upgrade, but as you can see here, it was a position change. Uh, last week, if we're going to go ahead and rewind it back, take a look. He was a right winger, left winger, so he's getting a higher thing. They get, they're they moving him to the cam position, so he's getting a negative one, negative one. But do not be fooled, ladies and gentlemen. Raheem Sterling got a buff this week. This guy has been on everyone's lips in Europe right now. Leroy Sané, the man from Shaka, is all of a sudden, over the past couple of weeks, quickly become one of the best young strikers that you can buy in career modes. It was only not that long ago he had a potential of something like 75 or something, but now he's getting a plus three, plus three, what a huge bump. Let's go ahead and look at him. Just not that long ago he was at a potential of 76, guys. And now he is all the way up to an 80 with a rating of 66. Can play the center forward cam and left in position. Four star weak foot, always nice to have on a nice young striker and 18 years old. He's just going to grow and grow and grow. Massive buffs all around. Already decent in the movement speed, but getting a plus five to agility, plus five to reactions, plus three to dribble, plus four to curve. And we're going to go plus nine to finishing astronomical, plus 15 to heading accuracy, and plus seven to stamina. Obviously, EA just put in generic stats in this guy, and all of a sudden, once he started scoring goals in Europe, they were like, oh, we need to fix this very quickly but there you go one of the best young strikers in the game now Leroy Sané. This is the week of youngsters guys in the career mode update and we got another youngster for you right here and that would be the big bad Bowser. Ricardo Lee the Ozori here? I don't know how to say his name I just call him the big bad Bowser but anyway he's getting a plus two overall and a plus one to his potential and he's been getting a massive amount of upgrades over the past couple of weeks as you can see already Started out the game rated at 82 with the potential and has just been steadily rising over the past month. Plies for IX. A uh, decent foot. Let's go ahead and look at his stats. Nice little upgrades all around to crossing, short passing, plus five positioning and plus four division. Always really nice and a good little trickling of stats all over the place. He's already really good. You're already going to go get him. IX got another one. The Big Bad Bowser gets bigger and better this week. And that is it for the buff section this week. Now moving on to the nerf section. The first one on the nerf section is, whoo, this one kind of hurts. Robin Van Persie. And we can't argue with it, guys. He has been off form this season he looked immaculate in the world cup but just isn't right and now with this injury they're gonna hit him with that negative two negative two as you can see a negative two to sprint speed and acceleration a negative one to balance and just a trickling of negative ones all around i mean it could be an injury thing but if you could argue the man has not been on form for Manchester this year, and this might be a permanent downgrade. We will have to see. Even the historic win over Chelsea could not save Ezekiel Levesi from this downgrade and negative one, negative one. And you guys know all this other good stuff, but let's go ahead and take a look at those stats. And these are massive, guys. Negative five to acceleration, negative three to sprint speed, and negative two to agility. Woo, those are taking a lot, a lot of hits. To what was essentially his greatest asset as a FIFA player, his movement speed. He's 29, so his star might be fading a little bit, but I got a bright young Argentinian star for you guys, but that's gonna be a little bit later in the video, so you gotta hold on. There's a whole bunch of youngsters that got nerfed really hard this week. The first being this guy, Jao Pedro Cavaco Cancelo. 
and that would be a negative four to his overall potential and he hates right and left backs. I'm telling you, this year, it's so hard to find good right and left backs with good potential. And it's not getting any easier with this update. As we can see right here, Cancelo is getting a downgrade in his potential and a couple of notable uh, downgrades in his stats. That's actually pretty rare to see. Another week and another left back bites the dust. What are you doing, EA? I've never seen a team win in Europe and get so many downgrades in a week. <laughs> and the next guy is up from PSG is Lucas Digne or Dinge. He's getting a negative one to his overall and a negative three to his potential. And guess what position he plays? Yes, he is a left back once again. Another left back biting the dust this week. Let's go ahead and take a look at his stats right here. And just, oh, negative three to sprint speed always hurts. Negative three to curve and negative three to crossing. From what I can garner from the comments, I don't watch too much PSG, but this kid was supposed to be the second coming, the savior for France at the left back position, and he just simply is not that. Oh man, another youngster biting the dust. EA hates the eternal spring youth. Oh my goody goodness, the Mexicano Alfonso Gonzalez is getting a negative five to his potential. And that one hurts a bright young star from Mexico. Not actually getting a downgrade in any of these stats, who are pretty good, actually getting an upgrade in penalties, but a negative five, so he once was an 85 potential. But I mean, uh, Remedy Bull, maybe you guys can go ahead and loan glitch him and get him back to his uh, his prior glory, but ah, uh, negative five potential. Why you hate youth, EA? Why you hate youth? There weren't any really great ads this week, so for this section, I'm gonna be doing some hidden gems of FIFA career mode and my first hidden gem, as I said earlier, the Levesi star might be setting, but this young Argentine star is rising and that would be Daniel Villalova. And look at it, he's getting a plus one to his overall and a plus three to his potential to play the striker center forward position. We foot of four stars and skill moves of four stars, only 21 years old, is only 5'3", so he's gonna be, has to make up for in his stats and look at how he makes up for it in those stats. Ladies and gentlemen, let me humbly introduce you to 91 acceleration, 87 sprint speed, 92 agility, 6 or 7 reactions, and 96 balance. Four star skill moves, ladies and gentlemen. 77 dribbling and 74 ball control. Can finish, can cross, and has got stamina at 80. You know how much I gotta finish for stamina. High stamina, high speed. This guy's been running all over the place. He's got the long shot taker, the technical dribbler, and the acro bat. Straight. I don't know how you do not go out and buy this kid. The second coming of Lionel Messi, Daniel Villalba. I don't give enough love to the goalkeeper, so I wanted to give out a nice young developmental goalkeeper for you guys, and that is the man from Udinese, and that is Alex Moret, and he is getting a plus two to his overall and a plus one to potential. Welcome to the 80 potential club, young Alex Moret, only 17 and 6'3". Ah, you don't care about this other stuff. Let's go ahead and look at his stats, and very nice, very nice stats, and that is the stat that most people care about when looking at goalkeeping. At a young 17, he's getting a plus Seven, a massive plus seven to goal kicking reflexes and you can argue that that reflexes is the most important trait for a keeper in this game and he's already at 72 and he's only 17 only gonna grow oh my goodness a growth of 18 if you have a young developmental league and you need to sign someone this is the man to get Alex Moret and next on the hidden gem section is this young man right here Musa Konate is 21 years old six foot tall he's got a four star weak foot three star skill moves he's from Senegal and he's got he's getting a plus one plus three to his potential can play the striker right wing position guys guys enough of this enough of this silly goalkeeper talk let's get back to something that I love and that is Pace, oh my goody goodness. 88 sprint speed and 85 acceleration, but here's a notable stuff. Getting the other boost in his lower movement stats right here. Plus three to agility, two to reactions, and three to balance. Two to dribbling, and one to ball control. Getting upped in the finishing, and this is what I always like to see. Plus four to stamina, he was in the 60s, and now he's in the 70s. And I could go on saying all these accolades about this man, but a commenter said it best. Let's go ahead and look at that. See you soon on the front page, bro. And that is true because with those stats, with this upgrades, 
he is definitely going to be pushed to the front page of SoFIFA.com. You guys keep on asking me what side I'm using. It is SoFIFA.com. Go check it out. They're great. As well as uh, Ultra FIFA is also amazing for career mode. MGH uses Ultra FIFA. I just personally prefer SoFIFA. But they're both amazing sides. And that is it, guys, for the career mode update. Update for March 20th, 2015. Do you want this type of format, a shorter format where I focus on kind of more hidden gems? Or do you like to see all the big stars, the Robin Man Percy's and the Lebezies? Uh, please tell me I love your input. Now I'm a small channel, so I will respond to everyone, I promise. And if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. Follow me on Twitter, at B-Gamer. And now let us bow our heads in reverence of all those who are leaving us this week. Mm. Bah, 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 bah. This is your boy, B-Minus. And until next time, remember, stay humble. Like Batman, and then it would be on us and Krillish going. Oh! 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 Shit, Krillish! Dude, you 